Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Propagate video series. Um, in the last video I went over how to create the Audio Propagate Nerd Group. Um, if you haven't watched that video, the link is in the description below. I do recommend you watch that um, before you watch this one. Okay, so now that we have the Node Group in our level, we can start adding our audio sources. And to do that, you simply cl click on the object you want to add the audio source to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go for this computer panel over here. and I want to add a attach an alarm sound to it. So um, there are multiple ways you can do that. You can do the right click on the object in the hierarchy. Go to audio and then propagate sound. You can also do it via this create menu here or the game object menu up top. Okay, so the Propagate Sound object um, has your regular Unity audio source, your regular audio low pass filter, and the only thing different is this Propagate Sound component up top. So I'm just going to go through which each of these fields do. So the master volume controls the volume of the audio source. And um, you're going to want to use this instead of the volume in the audio source itself because the propagate sound component overrides that. Then we have the profile. Now the profile is an asset um, that has a bunch of settings for propagate itself. I'm going to explain all these in a later video most of the time you're just going to want to leave this to the default but if you want to customize those settings um, you have the ability to do that. The update rate is basically how many times per second it's going to run the algorithm. Um, I put 0.2 that's a sweet spot I found but obviously that's there for you to change if you want depending on the performance of your game. And then finally we have uh, this checkbox debug draw path. If that's checked and you have gizmos enabled in um, the game view and then you can see sort of the path the audio takes um, useful for debugging of course and then you have um, the audio source which is just a standard so let's go ahead and add um, the alarm trigger uh, play and awake set it to loop um, everything else is good so the dis max distance I don't know let's say 30 min distance this is pretty loud so I'm gonna say free and then you can use custom roll off linear roll off or even stuff like that and then uh, the low pass filter you can leave that as it is because um, the propagate sound will be driving the values of that as well with that done I can now hop into the scene and it should work So there it is, you can just about hear it off through these doors. And that's our first audio source made with Propagate. And we didn't have to mess with triggers, we didn't have to mess with mixer snapshots, we didn't have to write custom scripts and do fancy raycasting. Propagate does that all for you, isn't it lovely? Okay, thanks for watching this video. In the next video, like I said, I'll be going over the Propagate profile and all the variables you can change in that. And then that should, con um, that should conclude our video series. Thank you for watching.